Pool parties in New Jersey in one community are not being held by homeowners, but instead by anyone with access to a certain app. And neighbors say the rentals are ruining their end of the summer. CBS 2's Meg Baker reports. This is video from a recent weekend evening on Carlton Street in Westfield. Loud music, loud voices, billowing smoke. And those people don't live there. They are renting the pool. We noticed it because there were late night parties, lights, drones, loud music, etc. The homeowner is renting out the pool through the app Swimply. The site reads Escape locally, enjoy yourself, your own private pool by the hour. Neighbors say 20 to 30 cars pull up every Saturday and Sunday night. There's been lots of weed, lots of drinking. My concern is that these people are all driving somewhere else. I have to have my kids come in when there's so much weed. <laughs> I'm afraid we're all going to get contact highs. Now there's a porta potty in the driveway, and I can see it right from my front porch when I sit there. Neighbors say the pool has become an event space that no one monitors. No one currently lives at the property. I tried calling and left a message for the owners, but I have not gotten a response. The police have been called more than a dozen times, responded, and the partiers complied, turning down the music and leaving. Chief Battaloro spoke to the homeowner, who, after so many complaints, minimized the number of guests allowed on the property. He has communicated to us that uh, he's looking to offset the cost of his mortgage uh, by renting his pool out on weekends, and, uh, and presently it does not violate any statute or ordinance. Councilman Mark Parmalee says the council will look for ways to regulate pool rentals as municipalities across the country confront issues with apps like this. And I've seen different methods of banning them. So, for example, either uh, characterizing them as a public pool and requiring the, the owner of the pool to comply with a lot of you know, mm. elevated standards or just prohibiting the practice altogether. Parmalee says he sees how the app could benefit kids for parties during the day or in a more rural community. But in a developed area like Westfield, it puts the burden on the adjacent properties. For now, this is legal. In Westfield, New Jersey, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News.